My name is Dr. Jeremy Lyons. I've been a consultant in intensive care in Belfast for the last 15 years. And one thing that never fails to astonish me is that we still see young people coming in here with head injuries after falling off their bike and they weren't wearing a helmet. Young people like yourselves never imagined that something as bad as a head injury could happen to them. But take it from me, you've no idea how little it takes to give you a head injury that will devastate you for the rest of your life. If you fall off your bike and are not wearing a helmet, the brain is designed to have a little bit of cushioning in it. It has some fluid around it that protects it against small injuries. But in a significant injury, in a bigger injury, the sort of thing you hit when you hit your head after falling off a bike, your brain actually moves through that fluid and then bangs off one side of the skull. And then it actually bounces back off and bangs off the other side of the skull and you end up with two injuries, one on either side of the brain. One of the big advantages we have in modern medicine is that we're able to scan and look inside your head to an extent. One of the classic ways of doing that nowadays is with a CT scan. This is an example of a CT scan of somebody who's had a head injury. They've come off probably their bike. They've banged the side, back and side of their head. And this actually here is, is normal scalp, this skin and subcutaneous tissue. Here you can see that that's massively swollen and that the, the lighter colored uh, is bruising in blood. So this is where they've had the main injury. Inside the brain, it should all be looking gray like that. This whitey area here is all bruising. The whiter bits are blood. And you can see at this side, there's another area of blood and that's the counter coup injury. So the brain has been the skull has been hit here, the brain has been damaged there, and then bounced back and damaged itself over there as well.